Hey everyone, this is Angel Fredix Gaming with a brand new video for Super Mario RPG. For more videos of the game, be sure to check out the playlist in the top right corner of your screen. It's time to defeat Punchinello in the post game of Super Mario RPG. This is probably one of the most difficult post game bosses, but I've nailed the perfect strategy depending on how aggressive your playstyle is. But before we go into detail for both of them, I want to emphasize how important it is to be level 30 across your whole party before stepping against Punchinello. This will raise your probabilities of surviving attacks while having better HP and defense stats. If not, you'll probably get demolished pretty quickly. So, if you're struggling with reaching the level cap of Super Mario RPG, please check the video at the end of this one. There are two ways to deal with Punchinello the defensive strategy and the offensive strategy. Both of them deal with the same issue, damaging Punchinello. To do this in the post game, you need to give up attacking him because only the bombs that he summons can do some actual significant damage. The catch here is that these bombs need to be facing him when they land. This way, when you attack those bombs, they will walk up to him and detonate, dealing some nice chunk of damage. But what happens if the bombs are only facing you? Well, there's a very slim chance, a very slim possibility of turning those bombs away from you by doing a perfect timing. Beware, this is very, very rare, even when you have mastered the perfect timing on your attacks. It's basically RNG. And the risk factor here is that if you strike those bombs and they don't rotate, you're probably getting hit. So, here comes the defensive strategy. Before entering the fight, you're gonna make sure that you get stacked with sleep bombs, which can be bought at the Frog Coin Emporium in Tadpole Pond. This will make the ball bombs fall asleep, and then you can attack them safely using only your special attacks. Why only special attacks? Well, because regular attacks will trigger them to explode. That's the way you keep it safe. This way, you only have to worry about your FP to continue to do damage to the bombs and defend against Punchinello's attacks. With this strategy, you'll continue defeating hordes of sleepy bombs while waiting for the correct ones to explode. This can take ages and that's why I recommend the second method, the offensive strategy. What do I mean by offensive strategy? Basically, just getting good at blocking the ball bombs attacks. This can seem terrifying, but it's actually pretty easy after you have failed a hundred times like me. Here's a hint that makes the difference. Whenever you see a ball bomb preparing to attack, ready yourself and press A as you see the ball bomb running against you. That's it. Not before it explodes, not as it is exploding, not when it jumps, no, it has to be during that sprint. It didn't make any logic or sense to me, but that was the last option I had while trying to figure out the timing, and ever since that, I've nailed those blocks 90-95% to of the time. With this, you'll cycle better through those bombs, you can risk more by attacking them to see if you can turn them against Punchinello and make this whole battle a lot more agile. Finally, if you want to be extra cautious, you can prepare yourself with some juicy red essence that can make you invincible for free turns by staying at the Nimbus Inn and paying for the Dream Cushion. After a couple of good nights of sleep, you will trigger an event where Mario has a nightmare about Todd. If you speak to him after waking up, he'll give you a red essence every time. That makes 60 coins per red essence, which, if you ask me, it's a great deal. And that's it. Once you get used to blocking Punchinello and the Bob Arms attacks, the battle will be easier and you'll get Bowser's final weapon as a reward. Be sure to check out more Super Mario RPG videos that I will be uploading to these playlists right here as I progress for the game. But for now, I hope this was useful, thank you for watching and keep enjoying the game.